light mortars, cannon, carbines, bazookas, riot guns, automatic guided missile launchers. I can get you helicopters, motorcycles, unmanned aerial vehicles, missile guided or guided launchers. I can even throw in a submarine or two. In 1997, over 30,000 refugees arrived in the UK. The 10-year-old Fiston Barak was one of them, fleeing from the ethnic conflict in Burundi. A few years later, after a long journey from western Iran, Karaki Mahmoudi reached Brighton at the age of 14. Both of them found a way in expressing their traumatic experiences through performance. I like to think that theatre found me in a sense because um, I remember in secondary school uh, we had a, a, a substitute teacher and he did us to get us some role playing and all sorts and I think it's because of him he, he saw something and he said you know carry on with it carry on carry on and something can happen and, and because of that I sort of felt like uh, I had this mentor who I could not disappoint um, my brother found that group called Banbazi. Then he joined the Banbazi. Uh, they were doing performance and stuff like that. One day they had their performance and then I took the ticket and went to see it. Then I really, really loved uh, this, what they did. It inspired me basically to go and do it as well. Then after the uh, show finished, uh, I started talking to Filippa, which is the head of uh, Banbazi uh, group. And she said, yeah, sure, you can come and join. And that's how it started. When you come to the group, I couldn't speak English. Then I started learning uh, trapeze. Uh, the same time, they were speaking English with me. So, you know, that was really, really good help to do all, uh, at the same time, do the practice and also learning the language as well. <laughs> I was able to have an open space where I can talk, for one. Um, I was able to have an open space where I can speak to people who then don't look at me with my skin color on or any of those sort of things. Those things were fine. And in a place where I can have fun, like serious fun. Just sign here. My family has had this land <coughs> since the British left. Yeah, well, now the government wants it. Signed. How much are they paying? 20,000. 20,000? Oh, that is nothing! Take it or leave it. Like I said, government will take your land any day. My family doesn't like to talk about the turmoil that we all go through. And I'm not necessarily meaning that I don't still feel those turmoils. I think I've just found a better way of dealing with it, a better way of understanding. And acting gets you that platform where you you judge things without bias. You know, for example, I have something bad happen in my life. I cannot tell everyone, right? But I can actually express myself on silicon a role to take it out. I am a really shy person, really, really, I was. I was a really shy person, but then since I started doing role, you know, and people uh, cheered for me, this and that, yeah, yeah. Then I became more uh, confident, more and more confident. Because I was actually, you know, I was doing something that people liked it. I liked it. Like, I always thought, like, an actor is like having superpowers. It's like, you can work, you can sit down, right? And you see somebody walk into the audience and you can tell they're so down. They're just like, I've had a long day. I've had a proper, proper long day. And you know, I've got a piece here 
that can make that person wake up and just pay attention to what you're doing and forget everything else. You know, I have the power to hold your attention. You know, make you laugh, make you cry if even, you know, make you think about something. I want, uh, I want them to see me, wh what is bringing out my emotions when I go on go. I think about it, what happened, how am I. So my emotion, how? Is it bad, happy? I want to just see that, what is it about, and understand it. In Kurdistan, we don't have any circus stuff like that. So I want to be the first person that take circus back to Kurdistan and you know, and become someone that known by people. That's my dream.